John, Niels, thank you very much for your time. I was wondering, John, could you tell me more about the products that you got on display here at Soldier Technology? Indeed. Well, I represent CQC Limited and uh, we're a specialist around load carriage and body armour carrier solutions. Increasingly, we're also now looking at the soldier system integration of technology onto the man. So doing the physical integration of the various electronics kit onto the soldier uh, in an integrated way. In terms of uh, what we are showing uh, at, at this particular session, um, it's a range of products including some of our existing Osprey kit which is now tried and tested within the Afghan field. Um, as well as that we've uh, shown some of our man-worn parent data developments which we've done jointly with the UK MOD and also some of the joint work we've been, done for the, we've been doing for the export market together with uh, Talis and their Norman system. So I'll pass you to Niels to talk a little bit about that. Okay, of course, uh, focusing on solar modernization, it's all about a holistic approach uh, uh, and we're focusing to increase the combat effectiveness of soldiers. Doing that, uh, integration is a key thing, both from a uh, more uh, C2, C4I point of view, but also into to the load carriage equipment uh, to do a total uh, package from that side. We've done that together with the, with the CQC uh, and uh, have a complete package uh, that we could offer to the export market. Okay, thank you. Um, John, going back to you, given the, 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 the macros of what's going on in the world, what challenges can you foresee for the future? Okay. Um, certainly there's quite a lot of challenge in this space. It's still very much an emerging market. Um, there are lots of key open questions, everything from what will become the standard connector technology, how do you get connectors that can integrate well with fabrics, and with the plethora of different options of uh, the different electronics kit, how can you build a power and data backbone that is simple, neutral, uh, and can integrate with all these different technologies. So from our perspective, the, the way we are trying to, to approach this market is to keep with a very agnostic system, work very closely with the likes of uh, Talis with their you know, key uh, qualities of products on the, the C2 and uh, command and control side, uh, and just find ways to integrate and iterate, because it, it's still early days for the, for the soldier systems market. John, what can you see happening going forward for the next 12 months? The next 12 months is going to be a very busy uh, period. We're just coming out of the UOR period where there's been a lot of uh, uh, rapid development and now uh, all the customers are moving on to our core programme footing. At the same time, in the UK side, we have Project Virtus, which is a, a very critical major programme for the, the UK soldier. And beyond that, we're looking to do quite a lot of work, normally in partnership with other companies, into the export market. So from the Middle East, Far East, down into South America, Canada and beyond, there's a lot of work going on and uh, yeah, I think the next 12 months we'll see quite a lot of uh, change and hopefully some new business as well. Absolutely. Well, best of luck with that. John, thank Niels, you. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.